Right, so a bullet casing for the interrogation room scene. Let's do this. Shift A mesh cylinder, leave it at 32. Let's come in here, scale shift Z, and bring this guy up. And that is not a bad size for it. Let's get rid of this bottom face. Okay, cool. Let's put an edge loop in here, drag it up, something like that. Control B and open it up like that. E and Alt S and pull. Pull it in a little ways. And then in edge selection number two, let's Shift Alt and click there. Pull that down. Okay, we're gonna bring an edge loop up to here. Pretty, cl pretty close. We're gonna bring one down here. We're gonna bring one up here. We are going to bevel this right here. Control B and put one. Keep it pretty tight. Three for face selection. Grab that top face. I inset. Pull it in. Pull it down a little bit. Inset again just a little. All right, and push that up. And then we're going to control B and bevel, pull down like this, roll up a couple times. Okay, let's bevel this edge here, control B just, just with one. Now let's have a look at this with shade smooth on. Let's see where else we need to we'll adjust the shading in a bit. Okay, okay, we can do that now. Uh, weighted normal and normals auto smooth like that now I think it may be flipped no it's okay actually and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on solidify and move that to the top and just uh, give it a little bit of thickness like that Maybe too thick, even about so. two five, something like that. Okay, now, yeah, okay, and that's the model uh, right there. So now we're going to unwrap this over here. Let's see, let's control one and let's find the middle. Let's start putting the seam down from here I'm gonna hold control to there and let's see if that's the one I want that might be okay let's mark that those seams and now I want to come in here and I'm going to select this top face and control plus a bit and hide that stuff so I can look in here I want to get in here and let's shut that off for the moment Actually, let me bring that back. I want this edge down in here. Not that one, though. Let's see which one. Maybe that one. Because I want to separate this out so I can easily... Put, let's see, did I mark that? Let's unwrap and see. That's basically what I'm going to be going for. I think so I will have let's turn that on this is that piece there I want separate from from the others so I'm going to um, let's see I want this that's the top I'm going to increase the size of this okay and this let's see what this is here that back on for the moment that's the top there okay that's fine let's uh, let's increase the size of this a little bit okay so let's export that and bring it into substance painter let's bake the mesh maps at 2k
got it. Okay. In the layers, let's do this. Let's use, let's just search for metal for the moment. Let's use this brass. And then on top of that, let's use this steel rust. Put a black mask on, generator, and for the generator, let's choose dirt. Let's use that to start with. All right, and then let's try, um, just before I go on, let's duplicate this layer. Come in here and let's make this a lighter color, like this. We'll add a black mask. I'll go into my polygon fill and I'll choose this uh, UV chunk and that'll get that section there for where the firing pin hits. That's why I put that seam there so I could separate that. Okay, let's come back to here. Here, let's do it this way. Let's duplicate this layer and let's clear this uh, right there. What am I doing? Um, right click, clear that mask. Let's try another generator, but let's try metal edges and adjust this a bit just to get a little bit of wornness around the edges. Not sure I want dark, I might want a lighter color. There's something like that. And let's put some scratches on here as well. We'll do a fill in black. And let's add a fill here. I'll leave them white for the moment. And under here, under the grayscale, let's search for scratches. And choose, say, this one. And then adjust the balance. Maybe the length a little bit. Masking will reveal some, get rid of some. I just want a little bit, and I don't want too much. But let's um, drop the height so they're kind of in in the metal a little bit, and um, maybe consider not having color. Just like that. And that's probably what I would end up going for. All right, so the next thing would be to do the text. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch this to orthographic and just look on the end. Now, I wanna do circular text and I'm gonna do that in GIMP. So I'm gonna come over here to GIMP and I'm going to create a new document. And I think I'll make it, I might make it 1024 by 1024. All right, and put some guides in here. So, um, image, um, new guide by percent. We'll have a horizontal one. I'll do another one. I will switch this to vertical. Then I'm gonna switch to the ellipse tool and make sure that I've got expand from center and fixed ratio on. I'll click right about in the center. Make a big circle like that. Select to path. So now I should have a path here. Oops. There it is. Okay. So I've got my, my circle in there. So now I'm going to add some text here. Uh, I'm going to make this about 125. And we are going to type federal. I'm going to give myself some space. Okay. We got federal 45 auto. I'll just do that. So this is what I've got. Okay. Okay. I'm going to right click text along path and hide that now. All right. So I've got that and this path to selection, create a new transparent layer, click 
okay and select none and then shift R to rotate and I'm gonna rotate this and just try to get it you know, as straight as I can I could bring in guides I'm just using this one I'm looking 45 pedal for and I can do a couple of other things all right there it is okay I'm gonna hide everything except for that and export that So now that I'm here, I need to create a new paint layer. Well, I could do it as a fill layer, actually. Maybe we'll do it as a fill layer with a black mask and then paint. And here we're just going to have color and height. We'll make it black. We'll drop the height down. And then I'm going to import that image I just created. But I'm going to save it as an alpha to the current project. And there it is. Let's do maybe 120. I should bring that up to 200. And then I've got a little bit more range here. something like that and then maybe on the same layer I will search for maybe this radioactive thing Just put a couple of those on there could do more text if I wanted to in there all right anyways that gives you an idea all right so this is the text and this is scratches layers now you could try to do anchor points they don't work too well this material so I think I'm gonna leave it like that and that would be my casing I'm gonna see it too too well um, I think the resolution is not bad I don't really think I need to up it here and so I'm gonna go with that so I'm gonna export that into blender and we'll see what it looks like here I'm going to add a material we'll call it bullet casing like that shift control T and let's find the materials and that's what I get um, yeah put that into the scene and see how she all looks cool thanks for watching